Welcome to episode 17 of Fitness Podcast with Z. I am Z, and today we are talking about energy systems. And please like the video, share, comment. Please turn on those notifications after subscribing so that you can be notified whenever I upload new videos. Let's go! So, uh, episode 17, we're talking about energy systems. Now, this one is a long one. Okay, episode not long, but the story of energy systems. Basically, there are two main energy systems. That is anaerobic, meaning without oxygen, and aerobic meaning with oxygen that is where the name oxygen uh, aerobics come from when you say we are attending aerobics it's because you are doing a workout where the energy system that is used for that workout is the aerobic energy system now let's go through it let's explain why are they called that and also why there are people who say there are three energy systems and why there are people who say there are four energy systems let's go through it so right the first one is called atp cp adenosine triphosphate cp creatine phosphate so this is energy that is readily stored in the muscle and is ready to be used now and it ends now it takes up to nine to ten seconds and is depleted that is the energy you use when you are running a hundred meter run when you are jumping i don't know for what but you use that that energy system it's You use it when you are using high intensity uh, work, uh, just like you would when you are running 100 meters. So this energy system, no oxygen is needed in the breakdown to make ATP because it's already stored in the muscles. After it gets depleted, the body rebuilds again and to recover takes about three minutes then you can have another close to 100 percent performance of atp right let's go next one is going to be okay how do i start this am i going to start let me start with four then you've got anaerobic glycolysis anaerobic glycolysis is also without oxygen meaning no oxygen was needed when glycolysis sugar or glycogen is broken down to make energy right so with this energy system it lasts up to you can say uh, 30 30 seconds 40 seconds so when is it peterson i can't believe i forgot it again <laughs> when that 400 meter guy won in olympics let me search him up he used this energy system i just want to check our record holder man i can't believe i forgot his name that Magwala is going to say see you must research your examples and i'm like that Magwala, when i go to this podcast i just go with what i know i do a preparation of what i'm going to talk about and and that's it Record holder and 
he's going to beat me for the funny care. Yes, I don't know why I call him. Wait, funny care. Yes. Wait, funny care. That was the energy system he used to run that 400 meters to win in Brazil. Yes. Then we move on. Go to now aerobic glycolysis. Now with aerobic glycolysis, you you still use glucose, sugar to make energy. But now oxygen is involved. That's what makes it aerobic. Oxygen is involved to break down sugar to make energy. This energy system lasts up to 20 minutes. And you'll make an example of a five kilometer run, your 1,500, all those middle, those distances after 400. That's the energy system that is used by the body to produce energy. And the last one, of course, of course, of course, is the aerobic energy system this is the one that our people use to break down energy to break down fat to produce energy for movement or to produce atp for movement because the body the muscles only use atp to move that's the only energy so all these things are broken down to create ATP. So with the aerobic system, anything until 24 hours, 72 hours, depending on what you can take, that's the energy system you will be using. Yes, it's fats, protein, later on, it's broken down to make energy. Right. They are processes that are, are there that I don't want to lie and say I can master explaining today, but one day I will explain. But those processes are the electron chain transport, transport chain, sorry, electron transport chain and the Krebs cycle. And those are processes where fat now is broken down and energy is created. Why do other people call it, say there are three? It's because they mix the two energy systems where sugar or glucose is used to create energy. So the aerobic glycolysis and the anaerobic, they mix them and they make it one uh, energy system and they call it the glycotic others call it the phosphagen but it's the same thing obviously they just mix up the two times that sugar gets involved to create that one energy system other than that whether you say it's four or whether you say it's three or whether you say it's two aerobic and anaerobic you are still right depends on your understanding of it all right yes guys uh, that is where it ends all i can say is that when you are creating your intervals in your workouts consider these energy systems when you are pushing people in your class consider these energy systems you should be able to know when people are on that aerobic zone especially after 20 minutes you know now okay we are here now the sugar is depleted from the body people are tired that is when you focus on motivating people to keep on working because once you start using fat it's hard start to keep up with the class people start taking a lot of water breaks your job is to encourage them to push throughout until they get to the end 
because now they are in the they are doing the hard yards you know uh, 30, after 30 minutes in your class people are tired so it is your duty to motivate i always say you don't have to motivate much in the beginning of the class because everyone still has sugar everyone is still fresh but you will see them somewhere 25 30 minutes now it's your, your job it's your time to come to the party and work as a trained instructor push people motivate them talk to them tell them what time it is <laughs> On that note, guys, thank you very much. That was episode 17. I'm out of here. Yes. Please remember to subscribe, like the video, and all those other algorithm things. Thank you. Love you.